Of course, Zach is, uh, reaches the level of uh, neurosis um, without the sort of Woody Allen creativity that generally goes with somebody who's going to be effective in that medium. And Greg's hostility is uh, just basically too much for the crews yeah, to handle. The, uh, we've had grips and uh, best boys walking off like in droves. You well, know. I basically wanted to get an outline, basically kind of what we've yeah, got yeah, right I now. Know, I know, but how can I deal with, with somebody who doesn't know what the Oh, how, fuck hey, how can he about? deal with me? Perfect. Let me tell you how you can deal with me. You can deal with me by dealing your fucking cards right out of here. If I was a cinematographer, but I'm the lighting director. Oh, if you ever get shit. that fucking you know straight. No one knows what their job is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I was really supposed to be bringing sandwiches today, okay? I'm not actually running this movie, all right? So when you see me, when I tell you to do something, don't fucking listen to a word I say! I thought that Greg and Zach, to be honest with you, were the kids that made Airplane, okay? Their movies have no depth. The screenplay sucked. I don't know... What my agent was thinking when he sent me there. I said, listen, you're going, to, uh, you're going about this totally wrong, okay? If you're going to pitch something, then pitch it the right way. Let's have a nice lunch, okay? The problem is, is that I just don't know where I fit. I just don't know where there's room for me! Because it's the California thing to do, number one. Buy me a cocktail, let's talk. Remember, I get up every morning at 7 o'clock, I play tennis, I swim, I go to the gym, I run three miles. At the end of the day, I have a beer. Maybe I'll like this up, maybe I won't. Maybe I do a prop, prop and a half a day. Depends on how nervous I get or how pissed off I am. The camera is my eye. I see things, know things, feel things, touch things when I look through one. One old man, um, one old man, uh, working on that project. We had, uh, some extremely talented actors. Of course, the lighting was brilliant, even though it was done by the freak. So we're doing the lights for the picture, and, um, 
you know, Greg comes up, he says he wants a cookie sheet on, on you know, light number three. And Zach says he wants a, a gel without a cookie sheet. They say, like, you know, I'll give you a hundred bucks at the end of the evening, you know, and a, and a gram of Coke. And Zach offered, like, you know, a, a six pack <laughs> and uh, a couple of joints, you know, so. Uh, hundred bucks and I went for the uh, six pack and the joints, a couple of joints. Chuck's the kind of person that will, that if you give him an inch, he'll take a foot, he'll put that foot over, over there, totally blow the whole shot, totally, totally break continuity. Chuck Grahe usually fits in my budget. They don't seem to grasp reality at all in, in any way shape or form they live in their own worlds full of crystal raindrops and flying horses with horns on their heads with unicorns that's what they call them and, and you know little gnomes hey, what's going on? Look. who is it so it's not greg is it no, is it greg okay. no it can't be greg Put your hands off, man. All right. Who is it? I'll kill him. I'll kill the goddamn sons of bitches. It's a she. Cheeks. Still to this day, it surprises me. It, it, it haunts the annals of my mind that Cheeks did not pick up an Academy Award. It is one of my most misunderstood pieces. It is a love story. I think we use them. Set against a very, very political backdrop. And those who can't understand the potential of Cheeks are swimming in a sea of mental impotence. As a newborn babe walking in the sun for the first time, it's the radiance of the Cheeks. It's like when we Cheek someone, their fear and... Yes, Zachary started shooting uh, Cheeks. We found the problem was that the, that the boys who exposed their buttocks into the camera, that the light level was blowing our film cameras, you know, off the map, so... Um. My films especially are important in the... There is no best. There's only importance. Okay. I would never work with these two again. They're... They're, uh... They're shams. They really are. I'm of the firm opinion that people will do what I say when I say it. I don't put up with any lip and I'm not above backhanding someone. Even a moron can point a camera at something and sometimes remember to take the lens cap off. I've learned a long time ago in this town to never say never, okay? If they got a book that they've optioned that I want, maybe we'll think about it. And if you think I'm that stupid to work with those dumb son of a bitches, I will never, ever, ever work with them as long as I live, okay? And don't even bring up their names to me anymore. I don't even know why I even did this frickin' interview. Ha ha ha.